It was a headline on TV screens all around the country, on your phone. I'm sure you were seeing the alerts. Arbery was out running before those men began following him for several minutes. And then there was an altercation, a scuffle. You've seen the cell phone camera video. Uh, that video leaked online and seen all around the world. Arbery was fatally shot. The men had claimed self-defense as their motivation for the shooting. Prosecutors were arguing that Arbery posed no imminent threat. Uh, Travis McMichael, his father Gregory McMichael, and their neighbor William Bryan are now all facing mandatory life sentences in prison from these convictions. Joining us right now is attorney James White. He's here to break down the verdict. James, thank you so much for being with us as always. What's the biggest takeaway from the jury's decision? <clears throat> so I think that uh, for most court watchers, there was concern that the jury would buy into this idea, <clears throat> excuse me, buy into this idea that, <clears throat> that this was a citizen's arrest. In Georgia, in order to have a citizen's arrest, there has to be a couple of things. Number one, there has to be a crime committed in your presence, or you have to have immediate knowledge that that crime was committed. And then two, the crime itself has to be a felony. Neither one of these circumstances existed um, in this particular situation. There certainly was nothing happened in front of the McMichaels or Mr. Bryan, um, or nor did they have immediate knowledge. And certainly uh, in the event there was deemed to be a crime based on his being present at that construction site, at best, it was a misdemeanor trespassing charge. So, you know, I think there was concern that the jury would run away and, and, and agree with the defense that this was an appropriate citizen's arrest, and, and they rejected that entirely. I, I think that's the takeaway um, is a society that we need to look at. And all three of them now face mandatory life sentences. Uh, the judge will decide whether that will be served with or without parole. So what do you expect? What, do you, what does your gut tell you about what the judge may decide here? I think the McMichaels are going to spend the rest of their lives in prison. Um, you know, their behavior is so egregious under these circumstances. The court was objective throughout the course of the trial, but clearly was tuned in to the egregious nature of their behavior. So I expect them to spend the rest of their lives in prison. <clears throat> I would not be surprised if Mr. Bryan was given some opportunity to parole at some point in time. This is the friend. This is the friend of the McMichaels, their neighbor, who wasn't somebody who pulled the trigger. That's correct. And, you know, he played a very significant role um, in, I guess, I don't want to say to his credit, but, you know, he videoed, you know, it's his video that led to these convictions. And I, and I do think that there's some significance there. Um, most people do not video you know, themselves committing a crime if they think it's going to come back to haunt them. Um, he played a role. He cornered this man and he participated and he deserves to be punished for that participation. But I would not be surprised at all if he is allowed to parole at some time um, in contrast to the McMichaels. Thank you so much, James White, for joining us. I know we're going to speak to you again later on this morning. Uh, more on this case, obviously a major headline uh, and a landmark here in this country. Thank you. Thanks for having me.